<laughs> God, it's really heavy. Imagine that with a baby in it. Let's try yeah. it, yeah. Christ, it's double the weight of the baby, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the great thing about it is, <laughs> if you just left a little Samantha in there like that, Ooh. she would die. Because her lung capacity wouldn't be able to move the air in and out. So as well as holding her, yeah. you've got to pump the air in and out. Oh my god. So you try. See what I hold. Pull oh. down. So you've got to keep her breathing. Yeah. But fortunately, there was no gas attacks. Now, for an infant up to about four months old, yeah. they used to be zipped in. Yeah, there was a version where they were zipped in. Right. Which is why I believe there are sort of 85, 90 year old traumatic people around. <laughs> <laughs> For all my time's people, you know. Well, I wouldn't want to be in that, would you? Four years. No. They wouldn't no. understand, would they? Obviously, you've got your 1940s iPod. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is, get that in your pocket. Yeah. Um, the only problem with that is you can only play one song at a time on it. Uh, you can't keep 3,000 tunes on there. No. Uh, on there, they would have been listening to a guy called Lord Hawhaw who was giving anti British propaganda for the Nazis. He went over to Germany at the start of the war. Um, broadcast all throughout the war, anti-British propaganda. We captured him at the end of the war and we shot him as a traitor. Good. Which was a bit of a bummer because <laughs> he wasn't British, he was Irish. Oh. <laughs> so, wrong place, wrong time, but learn to keep your mouth shut. Yeah. That's right, yeah, yeah. Um, other stuff that we got in here, the tea urn, we'd have never won the war without one of those. <laughs> no. <laughs> Was this all here when you came here, or was this all just empty? Or? No, it was all empty and it's all been collected as yeah. we go on. 